Five Pounds coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. Ira Stone returns and needs Sonny's help to crack a conspiracy in the episode Stone's War. On This Week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from September 29th to October 5th, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on September 29th, at just 18 years old, gold medal gymnast Mary Lou Gretton announces her retirement from competition. After being the first woman gymnast to win the all-around gold medal in the 1984 Olympics, Gretton set her sights on college. As one of the most famous athletes, Gretton's gold medal performance is one of the most important cultural moments in American sports. In music, Huey Lewis in the News holds the Hot 100 for one more week. Peaking at number three is the funk and R&B dance hit Word Up. From the cameo album of the same name, Word Up is known for its classic sound and music video including none other than LaVar Burton. The song was a critical and commercial success and is still one of my favorite songs that features a cod piece. In movies, for the next nine weeks, the box office will be dominated by this movie starring Paul Hogan and will be the second highest grossing film of 1986. Crocodile Dundee is of course the film and will put Australia front and center on the world stage. Surprisingly, Crocodile Dundee will perform well above expectations, even getting an Oscar nomination for Best Screenplay. Eventually, there would be two sequels, but they would never live up to the original. That's not a knife. That's a knife. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com, or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.